I'm Brian West. We're at GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent, chatting with the co-founder and CEO of RPO, Doug Newman. Doug, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And I first have to ask, why are we wearing orange pants? I, you asked to wear orange pants, so we got you some orange pants. He's right, that is true. We'll get to why the orange pants in just a moment, but I want to think about disaster recovery, DR in the cloud. Why is it relevant? Oh my gosh, so uh, obviously cloud workloads, there's a lot of mission critical things out there, and resilience is first and foremost a priority for anything that has to be up and running. Resilience comes in multiple forms. We generally think of high availability and disaster recovery. And so DR is really what kicks in when HA is no longer the right solution for you. So uh, disaster recovery is uh, a, resilience is a shared responsibility model in the cloud. Amazon gives you some of that, but you're responsible for building the other pieces of it. And we make it easy for you to achieve the DR side of that. And certainly in the day of ransomware attacks and cyber attacks and all of that, we're really looking for a solution that makes it easy, and I know one of the things about RPO is that it is easy. Tell us about how easy it is to implement the RPO solution for DR in the cloud. Right, so first and foremost, RPO is a uh, comprehensive DR solution for complete AWS environment. So most solutions that talk about disaster recovery in the world are focused on data. RPO is the only solution that truly understands the complete cloud environment. And because it is so comprehensive, it handles all of the complexity for you. You don't have to go engineer your own disaster recovery capability. You just turn it on with our solution. As CEO and co-founder, you've been there soup to nuts from the beginning. Tell us about the startup story. What was it like? Where did the idea come from? Yeah, so the idea was born out of an outage that I suffered <laughs> in 2017. Did you cause the outage? I did not okay. cause the outage. Actually, the, the company that hosts these events caused the outage. Um, we were running some workloads in the east region of AWS and an employee at AWS made a typo one day, brought down the S3 service for a few hours. I was the person who had pushed workloads into the cloud and it was on me that day that we did not have a disaster recovery solution. So in the aftermath of that, we went and built it and with RPO, we've built it so other people don't have to do that. That's fantastic. And how specifically do they solve the disaster recovery problem in the cloud? You mentioned a little bit about the solution. What's that thing people need to know? Yeah, so uh, really it's, it's about understanding that the cloud environment is data and infrastructure and configuration. And all three of those have to come back together for you to recover a workload and get back up online. Not just data, a lot of times that configuration, as you mentioned, you push a change that can bring everything down. Your data is fine, but you just can't get to it. Your customers can't get to it. You can't engage with orders or transactions or whatever it might be. What are people not thinking about in their disaster recovery strategy? I mean, people are forgetting about cyber disasters. And the fact that the most common disaster we deal with these days are ransomware attacks. The average downtime associated with a ransomware attack is three weeks. And three weeks is an eternity for you to not serve your customers. So with RPO, we focus on how do you recover safely and quickly from a ransomware event, get you back online in three hours, perhaps, as necessary. Doug, I, I have to ask this question, and I'm not sure you're prepared to answer it. Are there some success stories that you want to share, even in a general basis, of customers that have used RPO, had an incident, may there, may, maybe minor or major, but really it saved their bacon, if you will. Yeah, certainly there are, luckily there aren't a lot. We don't hope our customers have of disasters course, right, right. and need the solution. Um, and obviously when they do, they're, they're pretty sensitive about those. But we've had customers who have, for example, uh, lost entire databases, dropped databases, and they need to go and recover those. Uh, we've had uh, regional impairments in the cloud where customers have needed to fail over to other regions to get back online and continue operating their service. Uh, and RPO helps with both of those scenarios. At a higher altitude, do you feel, and, and I think I know the answer to this, do you feel like boards and governance organizations are going to be demanding a better cloud DR strategy with ransomware attacks, cyber attacks, cyber events in the news so prevalent and really disrupting? I mean, it feels like this is a board level conversation, yeah? Very much a board level conversation. A lot of the inbound demand we get yeah. for our product is born in the boardroom where people are suddenly inheriting these responsibilities. Great questions are being asked. I can't tell you how many times there's been like a ransomware event in an industry and then all of the people around that company come and ask us questions about how they can be resilient to that. You can almost track your inbound sales by the news cycle yeah, of a particular yes. industry. I love that. Now, there's a lot of talk about heterogeneous clouds, multi-cloud multi environments, hybrid clouds, but you only work with AWS. Why is that? Well, we want to do AWS 
as well as we can before we dilute our focus with any of the clouds. We know it's a multi-cloud world. We're going to go there, but we have not finished building the product we want to have for AWS yet. And I've promised my customers I'm not moving to the next cloud until we've con conquered this one. Well, you're here at AWS reInvent, and I have to talk again about the orange pants because we have had a, a great time being neighbors with you here at GeekWire Studios. And the minute we saw the orange pants just over our shoulders, uh, we were told, hey, like we have to get some orange pants. So fortunately, your team found a spare, unworn pair, and I am now sporting my own disaster recovery RPO official orange, which is a lot like the GeekWire orange, yeah. orange pants. So thank you for that. Thank you for taking the time and the long commute from right across the hallway. It was tough, Brian. I appreciate you flagging me over just a <laughs> few right. minutes ago. Well, it was because the orange pants, I could see you very that's, easily. That's right. We look forward to learning more about DR and your efforts to keep, keep our infrastructure safe, our cloud environment, it's safe in both configuration and data. It's all very important. DR in the cloud, thank you so much for making it easy. That is Doug Newman, the CEO and co-founder. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios. And Orange Pants.